Hey everybody, today on Henry's Tattoos, I'm going to show you how to make Persian Level Shack. Let's get straight into it. So, I'll be doing this recipe based on 10 plums. Now, firstly, you want to, of course, wash them and remove the stems. Then we're just going to slice these all in half. And make sure you take the pits out. So, whatever fruit you're using, you want to make sure to remove all the seeds. Now what we're going to do is bring across a large pot, place all your plums into there. And we're going to transfer this to the stove. Now put your stove on a medium to high heat. We're going to squeeze in the juice of about a quarter lemon, half a cup of water, a pinch of salt, and just a teaspoon of white sugar. Now all we want to do is stir this and bring it up to the boil. So once it reaches the ball like that, all we want to do is just continue to stir this. And just reduce your heat to a medium. We just want to keep on cooking until all the plumps have broken down and are nice and soft. So after about 10 minutes, your plumps should have broken down like that and are beginning to get nice and soft. So at this point, we're going to turn our heat down to a low. And just let this slowly simmer here for about 15-20 minutes until it's completely soft to the point where we can just uh, puree it. So it's been about 25 minutes now. As you can see, we've got a nice thick paste. So at the same time, you want to make sure you're breaking up the plums as well. Once you have a nice smooth consistency like this, just turn your heat off. And guys, all we're going to do is empty this out into a food processor. Now we're going to blitz this while, while it's hot because it's going to be much much easier. But I cannot stress the importance of being careful. Because the actual paste is very very hot because it's sweet, it will burn you easily. So be safe. Now on a high speed, we just want to mix this until we're left with 100% smooth consistency. that guys it's almost like a very very thick syrup you want to make sure it's very very smooth so now I've just lined a large baking tray with some baking paper and all we're gonna do is pour out our content straight on make sure you get it all out you don't want any wastage now once it's all out you just want to spread it out you want to try and get a nice rectangular shape now guys, in regards to the thickness, it needs to be very thin. I'm talking less than half a centimeter. So you want something that looks like that. Now just let this cool down for about 30 minutes inside before we take it outside. Get yourself some cheesecloth. And we just want to cover it. Just like that. Now we can go ahead and put this outside. The reason for the cheesecloth is it will stop any insects from attracting to it. Okay guys, so I've personally left mine for three days, as the last couple of days in Sydney have been very wet. And you really need the sunlight for this. So to see if it's ready, all you want to do is try and pull on the cheesecloth. And as you can see it's nice and dry and almost like a leathery appearance. And you need to be able to pull it like that. If you can comfortably pull it like that, it's ready. So just pull it all off. And we can set that aside. Now as for the actual level shack, we take it out of the tray. And obviously we left with it on the baking paper. So what we can do now is we can cut this, you can leave it like this and just roll it up if you like. I'm just going to cut it into smaller pieces because that's a bit too big and it will just tear up like that and to eat it, just want to pull it off the baking paper simple as that so leave it on the baking paper until you're ready to eat it this will just make it easy to work with so just portion it all out however you like 
you do want to roll it up, just like that, and that'll stay perfectly. Okay, and there we have it. So like I said, to eat it, just pull back, and pull it straight off the paper like that. Simple as that, guys. Um, so as I said, this can be done with a lot of stone fruits, so you can do it any flavour you like. Plum is just the most common one. Now, as for storage, make sure you keep them in a dry place, preferably in a sealed bag as well. Moisture isn't good for it. I hope you like that, guys. Please like and subscribe. If you've got any comments or suggestions, just leave them at the bottom, and I'll see you all next time.